All right, hi class. Uh, if you guys can, please get a seat, and I want you guys to get out your Lewis and Clark folders. You guys should have the maps that I gave you yesterday. And uh, this one that I have is a little more detailed. This is kind of what I'm wanting your final project to be, but on simpler terms. And I want you guys to have your journals that you've been taking and taking notes as we've been reading out of the Lewis and Clark book. And you guys should have your Lewis and Clark books out too, ready to use. And so today we're going to be talking about the final project. We finished reading about the expedition. We've learned all about Lewis and Clark and their travels, especially through Montana, which is just kind of big in our Montana history. And today we're going to be applying that. You guys have heard me talk about how we're going to be making timelines, but on a map. And this is kind of going to be like the map project that we did earlier, a cup, like about a week ago in that lesson. And we've been kind of putting together a timeline as you guys have been making those journals. You guys have been taking notes and putting the dates, and I've had you kind of go over every section that we've covered and kind of put some details down about each event. So now I'm going to get into what I'm expecting on your guys' timeline maps. First is we're going to have 10 events. For your 10 events, I want you guys to have about three to four sentences. You can go above that, but I don't want any more than like a paragraph. So three to four sentences. And I want those to have good spelling, and I want you guys to have the dates on each of these events. You guys can pull this information from the journal, which should be easiest, or you can use your book, and you could also come up to me, you know, I, Mr. Yeager, I just can't think of an extra event, I, I just need two more, what should I do? And I'd be happy to help you out. Next, we're going to be marking this on the map. So you guys can see on this one how each of these events kind of has a little point there where it says where it was. And while mine doesn't have all of the three to four sentences, yours will. And so next, I'm going to be looking for spelling. I want you guys to take your time and go over this and proofread it. You know, spell your words right. Make sure that you're not butchering Sacagawea's name. Or There's a couple of tough words to spell. Don't feel bad if you got to look back in your book to get that right. And I want accuracy. I want your guys' dates to be right. I want where it's located to be right. And you have all sorts of resources, including me, your peers, the book and your journals to look back and get those right. Next is effort. I mean, when we're talking about effort, I don't want, yeah, Lewis and Clark took and they got to this big waterfall and like they couldn't take a canoe through it so they put it on logs and rolled them and, and there was a grizzly bear and, and Lewis almost died. That's, that's nothing like I want. You guys know what should be expected. And check-ins. So this assignment is going to be due Friday. That means that you guys have four days to work on it, which should give you plenty of time, but to make sure that you guys are using that wisely, at the end of each day, I'm gonna be having a check-in, and we're gonna go over, you know, uh, Tom, you're not getting all of this done, you're saving it all to the end, we don't want that. So we're gonna be checking in, and I wanna cover the points. I gave a rubric to all of you guys, but we're gonna go over this. So for 10 events with the three to four sentences, that's gonna be worth 30 points. This is kind of the meat and the potatoes of the assignment, so we wanna put some effort into that. And marking on the map, that's really important. We've been working on our mapping skills, and we talked about how important maps were in the expedition with like Clark and his great cartography skills. So that is also gonna be worth 30 points. And those are kind of the bigger chunks. And next is just kind of the nitpicky stuff. You guys know I like to be nitpicky. So for spelling, we're going to go 10 points. And this is your grammar, your punctuation, and everything else that fits into that. And accuracy. This is really important. If you're going to take your timeline and you're going to show your parents, you're going to be like, wow, look what we learned in class. Lewis and Clark, they, uh, they started the expedition back in 2012. <laughs> we don't want that. So that's going to be worth 10 points as well. Whoops. And we really touched on effort, and that's important to me. So that will also be worth 10 points. And these check-ins, since we're having four of them, each is going to be worth two and a half points. So two, whoops, that was a terrible two. Two and a half points each. If you guys ever end up being teachers, maybe you'll have better whiteboard skills than me. 
And so there were four of those. Those are going to add up to be worth 10 points. This is kind of a bigger assignment. So the total of this entire assignment is going to be 100 points. So I want you guys to take your time. I've put in this check-in so we can make sure you guys get a really well-finished assignment. And you got all of these resources, your peers. And you can always come in and ask me, you know, if you're struggling to get it all done in class, come in and we'll figure something out. We can work together. Like for your events, that should be fairly easy. I'd hope that since we've covered this for quite a while, you guys should have at least 10 events in your journals. You could have the Great Falls. You could have uh, Sergeant Floyd's death from his appendix bursting or even Pomp's birth. All of those would be great. And so with this due Friday, we should probably get started on it now. You guys have your timelines. You guys have your journals. So I want you guys to kind of get started on an outline of what you want to get with. And we will check in in a little bit and then we'll go from there.